guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials and I'm bald! I know, this is one of those days. But I'm going to show you guys how to put on a bald cap so that it kind of looks a little more seamless. Clearly I did not seal it in the back. I will explain. So, uh, basically the, the, yes, I'm making faces. The first thing you're going to need is a bald cap. I personally like to put on a wig cap first just because my hair is very dark and it I kind of feel like it gives me more of a like not neutral base but like it kind of cancel out some of the darkness of my hair so that way I get a nice you know word I can't figure out how to say layer <laughs> cohesive that's not really maybe cohesive is the word I'm looking for but yeah what I like to do to um was just to place the bald cap kind of where I want it just so I can make sure I know exactly where it's gonna go and just tuck in any more of my hair that might be out if you have straight hair um, or hair that's a little bit easier to braid I would probably do that especially if you're gonna be wearing this out so that way that back piece that I didn't uh, glue down that can be all like flat and you look like you have a bald head ideally the flatter that you get your hair the more realistic it's gonna look essentially um, and then once I had the bald cap in place I started applying a little bit of prosade you can use um, spirit gum any kind of um, like adhesive that is also skin safe I like prosade because it's a medical grade adhesive it's water-based you know for me, it's a little bit easier to get off and it doesn't smell as bad as spirit gum. I've used spirit gum in the past. It's really a personal preference at that point, but you want to give it some time to dry, especially um, if you're using adhesives like this. Once it gets tacky, that's the best time to start applying your prosthetic, your bald cap, whatever you're applying on there. Because if it has that stick, one, once you put your thing down, it's not going to move around. And two, especially with um, spirit gum, you can get kind of like burns almost if you don't wait till it's tacky. That's why they tell you to like tap it. Um, I've had that happen to me once. <laughs> That's how I figured this one out. And then I, I read in um, a special effects group on Facebook kind of the same thing. So you want to give it a second to dry. Not completely, just so it's tacky, so it's more like glue and then place your thing on it. In this case, the bald cap. You wanna work in smaller sections, that way you make sure everything is nicely glued in place. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much my tips for that part. But once you have everything glued on, um, I'm gonna take some liquid latex and just blend in the edges onto my forehead. Now, it looks like I put a giant glob. I kind of did, but I took a Q-tip and blended it so that it kind of fades more seamlessly into my forehead. And obviously not my forehead, my neck, my sides of my face, whatever. But just so that the edge of the prosthetic kind of melds with that a little bit better. Some of the edges were kind of coming up or I didn't glue them all the way to the edge. Um, if you're using latex for anything though, definitely be careful with your hair, your eyebrow hairs, your regular hairs, because I promise you it's going to be a nightmare to get out. Do not get liquid latex in your hair. <laughs> Do not. Also, if you get it on your pants or clothes or anything, it's very difficult to get off. So I would use clothes that you are okay with getting messed up. If you tend to do cosplay or special effects a lot, I would have like a shirt or a pair of pants that you're kind of okay with ruining. You can at least ruin one thing instead of multiple things that you actually like. That's just my take on it. I've ruined many a pair of leggings and also this shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> uh, so many leggings, man. And then once you have that done you just want to make sure that the latex dries completely this will ruin your brushes if or your sponge or whatever if you decide to go over it with um wet latex same thing with prosade although prosade you can kind of like some things you can salvage by using the remover but mm, 
it depends and then once everything is completely dry meaning that it's clear that's pretty much how you can tell with latex then you're gonna powder it this will keep it from giving getting that like really shiny look if you're not going for super shiny I would just powder it. if you are for like a burn or something that could be helpful but for the most part I would just honestly powder anything that you do that requires latex and then just dust off the excess and that's pretty much it that's basically it so I hope those tips were helpful as far as how to apply a bald cap like I said before, I left that back bit open because I'm, you know, I'm just doing this for the internets. I'm not going out in the real world. If you are, I would definitely get somebody to help you with that part. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And please don't be ashamed of me for what comes out of my channel next. That's all I'm going to say about that.